Here's how to, to line up the, the red dot finder for your National Geographic CF-114. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at that, that top tree right out there in the middle. And we're going to line that up inside our telescope. I've already done that. And then we're going to come back here and at the back of our scope here, we should be able to see that right within those two concentric circles. It's really hard for me to hold this in place. But that's right where that red dot will point. So I'll turn the red dot on. It's harder to see in the daylight, but if you line that red dot right in the center, right there, get all the circles lined up. Then when you come look in the eyepiece, there is the top of that tree. And then once you have it lined up, I'll show you how to see uh, a planet or the moon. Uh, in order to get that lined up, you want to adjust these knobs right here. And the most important part is getting, see if I can get the back in the focus here. See how there are two black circles? Uh, they're pretty far apart. You want to make sure that you're, when you're looking through it, you're back behind the scope like this so you can get those two circles lined up. You want to get your scope here and you want to line that up so that the circles line up with the red dot in the center and that the two circles are concentric with each other. You'll see the moon's a little bit out of the center. Um, it's hard for me to hold the camera and do this, but we're going to come over here and look directly into the telescope now. See if I can get the... There we are. So there's, there's our moon. Pretty close to uh, the center of the view. So looking through your telescope, you should be able to see nice, crisp, sharp images. If not, it may be all of collimation. You can check the collimation by using a collimation cap or a star. Here's a collimation cap image. You see how it's out of focus. It's shifted up to the top. So what we have to do is go to the back of our telescope and we're going to have to adjust these knobs and I'll show you how to do that very quickly just with some pictures here. So the first thing you want to do is loosen these three uh, with a Phillips head screwdriver. Just loosen those. That just frees up the mirror so you can adjust it. Then you want to take these other three and make adjustments one at a time and see how that affects the, the image um, coming, uh, the reflection of the image. Hopefully you get it centered just like this. You can also do this with a star if you don't have a collimation cap. Collimation caps are cheap. I recommend you get one if you don't have one. 